Hey guys, Nathan Sissio, Sissio Performance here. I wanted to give you a little brief description of a kit or a package that we just came out with, which is our C700X kit and the C900X kit, and then even the C1100X kit. Um, what does the X mean? Well, it means X. means X. It is an X piped version of our twin turbo kit by Extreme Turbo Systems. So um, this turbo kit is exclusive to us. We worked with ETS on this kit and we're very excited about not only the sound or not only the performance I should say, but also the sound. So let me explain this a little bit. So uh, you know, people are like, okay, what's the difference between an X pipe and the way that the normal one is? I don't have a normal one right next to me to be able to show you, but if you kind of envision this, like on our normal and a lot of the normal turbo kits that are out there, um, the turbo is actually flipped around. Okay. So you have the air filters in here and you have the exhaust side out here. And then the exhaust just comes out one side or the other. And then your air, air filters are in here. I'm sure that the media guy here will put a very fancy little picture up right here that'll show you what I'm talking about as I'm talking. So anyway, what does our X pipe design do? Well, our X pipe makes it so that the air filters are outboard and the hot sides of the turbos are inboard. Okay. Cold sides outboard, hot sides inboard. This is actually still hot because it just came off the dyno and I'm also just burned myself. And, um, and then the exhaust merges and then comes up and comes out. So there's a couple of reasons why we didn't do this initially. Um, just again, a little bit more information, but I always like over informing you guys. We have had scenarios in the past where we've had cars that have air filters right next to the exhaust systems that actually get dirty combustion, like get dirty exhaust into the air filter and the turbo sucks it up. Okay. That's not good because it's not clean, good air that's going in the air filter. So what we did with this one or what ETS uh, did for us um, is we laid the filter very far back. Now, if Henry comes over here and shows how far behind the exhaust, the filter itself is. And then this is also shielded by the bumper itself. Uh, we did lots of testing and found that this way, um, rather than tilting the turbo out straight, if you tilt the turbo out straight, then the filter actually sits right in line with the exhaust. And we got dirty, uh, like exhaust fumes into the inlet of the turbo and uh, it's bad, causes detonation, all kinds of fun jazz. So with tilting them more inboard, if you will, and I know it's kind of hard to picture the angle, like if you actually, if you get down right there like that and you look right up there, you're going to be able to see, Hi. you'll be able to see how they're tilted inboard to be able to tuck the air filters back towards the body as best they possibly can. That's very important and very key, crucial. So what else does this do? This completely changes the audible sound of the car. Um, our other kit, again, I wish I had it right next to you to be able to, or me to be able to show you. The other kit, each pulse of the exhaust is completely separate. So you have one lung of the engine and another lung of the engine, right? Four cylinders and four cylinders makes an eight cylinder. So you got four cylinders coming out this side, four cylinders coming out that side, and the two nigh shall meet. So what you get is you get a pulsing type of sound or experience. Uh
experience. Um, is that a bad thing? No, it sounds, I call it muscle car -y, right? Sounds almost a little lopey. Maybe it's got like, it's got a little cam, but it doesn't. Um, has a little bit of, again, a pulsing scenario um, in, your, in your kind of ear, in your head, um, blah, 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 kind of thing. Um, that's awesome. Some people love it. Um, I wanted to have the option for both. To be quite frank, I feel like the C8 has got a little bit more of an exotic feel than a muscle car feel, just based on the shape and the lines. And so I wanted the ability to be able to have that more exotic style sound. Once again, through the actually magic of technology, I'm sure that Henry will have some type of sound clip up here in between me talking, but the difference is is, is very large in the way that the car sounds. So what does this do? What this does is obviously it takes all the pulses of the entire engine and it merges them through this X, okay? What that does is it takes the, the pulses, like as they're hitting, right? And it merges all of the sound. And when then by the time it comes out the tips, it sounds like one united force. So it gives it a lot more of a exotic sound, um, more of almost like a, not a high pitched, but definitely a higher pitch. And again, you'll be able to hear it on uh, some of this video, I'm sure uh, spliced in here. Um, we have customers that love the kit the way that it was and don't like it this way. And we have people that love this and don't like it the other way. So we have the option for both. We have both in stock and we are, um, you know, offering both packages, the C700, C700X. What about performance? The performance is honestly the same. I would love to tell you that this performs better. The other one performs better. They're the same. These cars run such low boost. We're talking about seven, eight pounds of boost, six pounds of boost, some of them. Um, that really we're not even stressing the turbos, the engine, or anything of the sort um, when we're doing these packages at all. So there's so many other limitations, you know, um, to try to push these cars further that you're saying your typical C700 or C900 package um, is not really even working the turbos out very hard or, or the systems. Now we also utilize um, a very large exhaust system, three and a half inch exhaust system, um, which a lot of companies don't do. Um, so that just helps, you know, and give it a ton of flow characteristics where you're not even close to the limit of what these things can produce as far as power is concerned. This same turbo kit is the same turbo kit you use on the C700, 900 and 1100. We don't even change it. All we do is tick, tick, tick the turbos up. So that gives you an idea how much headroom there is. And even on the 1100 kit, we're still, I mean, that's like 20 pounds of boost. We still have so much more to be able to go if we wanted to, as far as the turbo kit's concerned. So that gives you an idea what the big differences are between the two. I'm sorry, I kind of babbled on, but it's a very uh, large difference in the kit. Now there's some other little uh, um, differences as to far as where we mount this, our scavenge tank and so on and so forth because of the way the exhaust is. Um, it's definitely tucked back up there a little bit better and shielded, or I shouldn't say better, different because the exhaust goes over it versus going on the outsides. Um, there's some other, in, you know, small intricacies that we had to get around to be able to make this actually safe and efficient. But I personally love it. I have it on my personal car. I had both. Um, just the driving experience of the X, I think is a little bit better. I like the, the sound of it because I feel like it fits the car better, but um, that's my personal preference. And some of the guys that have come in here have been like, oh, that sounds like crap. You know, I want the, I want the other style because they've listened to both. So it's all just, so yeah, everybody kind of has their own opinion on um, which one sounds better. Uh, some people like the more muscle curry sound and some of them people like the more, I want to call it exotic, even though it doesn't sound like some kind of high pitch exotic. Um, but let us know, let us know what you think. You're going to be able to hear these both in this video. Comment below, let us know which one you like. Uh, opinions are what makes the world go round, right? So uh, we love hearing all of you guys' and uh, doesn't mean that mine are always right, only just most of the time. So uh, yeah, let us know what you think. So thanks so much. And we'll have some more cool videos coming at you with some more explanations. And if there's anything you wanna know or understand more about the C8 or R8s or Huracans or GTRs, 
please let us know. We're happy to do more and more videos to give you guys as much information as we possibly can. All right, thanks guys. Mm -hmm.